Hello everyone, Larry Satchwell here. Today's project, you see these tables on Craigslist all the time. This is Dana's original dining table and Laura inherited this when she bought a house. Both of them want them turned into craft tables like this one. So I've done it with a table similar to this, but it had this kind of a top. Dana wants hers 32 by 48 and Laura 30 by 48. Obviously, I can't get both of them out of this one top. And this one, I'm not sure how much I can salvage. But the goal here is to salvage as much material from these two tables as I can and incorporate them into two new craft tables. Let's get started. able to get one tile off. It's on there with contact cement. Who would have thought? Once one tile is off, I think the rest are going to come off. I've been working on this for several minutes. Uh, I don't feel safe doing it. The tile is not coming up. Although I did get enough off, I wanted to see if I could pop the rim off here and save that. I cannot. Uh, if you start with a tile top table, you're going to have to come up just like I am with an alternative for your new top. For the top for Laura's table, I couldn't salvage any of the tabletop, so I'm going to use step treads. This is a step tread from Home Depot. They're about a little over $10 a piece. This is nice, stable wood. I can glue this up and know it's not going to spread or fall apart. This one has a veneer over the top made in China. If you get them from Lowe's, they're made in Brazil. And they have no veneer, so you'll see a lot of more knotty pines. So this is glued up stock. They've already glued it up. I cut the bull edge, the bull nose edge, off of one side. This is going to be the middle board. I'll glue two of these up tonight, leave them overnight, and then glue the third one on tomorrow. I could glue all three of them up right now, but this is just a lot easier. And I want to make sure this thing is pretty dead flat. I can sand it some, but this veneer is probably... Uh, less than, uh, much less than a 32nd inch deep. So if you sand it too much, you'll go right through it. So this is cut to 30 inches. It's been drying overnight. And I am ready to finish this top. These are an inch and a half, inch and a quarter oak calls. They have packing tape over them to keep the glue from sticking to them. I hope you can see here that this thing tapers three different ways to Sunday. Tapers this direction, has a curve in this direction, and it tapers in the back. So this is a very unstable and dangerous cut to make. So to make it a little safer, I've clamped it to this straight edge. What I want to do is support this as I cut. I can push down on that and nothing moves. If you gear on, wish me luck.
Helps to have these uh, 45s facing the other direction. They fit much better. Right here, one of the original holes in the skirt, right where this uh, screw goes. So a little dowel and a little glue, dab of glue in there. Now the screw will drive into that dowel, and this will actually be one of the stronger joints in the whole operation. This is not a hard build. Um, it took me probably, I could have done it in a day. However, I'm retired, I don't work all day. I get messy in the shop. Anyway.